Hello and welcome to my new video. If you're new to my channel, hi, I'm Lex and this is Lost Falls. Today I'm wearing a sweater by this Twitter creator and I think it's so adorable. Please wear it. I'm going to be working on my house exterior today and I'm inspired by this image that I found on Twitter. This creator is incredible. Definitely check them out. I really want to have like lake house vibes so the furniture I've been running around is what I'm planning on potentially using. So yeah, I hope you enjoy this build. I've outlined here where I want my house to be and I just want to take a second here to say a big thank you to my members. I really appreciate all of you for being here and for supporting me and my channel. It just, it means the world. So thank you so, so much. I decide to incorporate a diagonal bridge here because when am I not doing the most to incorporate diagonal bridges? So I'm trying to map out how it would best fit where I can still have water between my house and the bridge, but also like have it where it's navigable. I don't know. It was really hard to figure out a balance for this area where I would have enough water, but also enough land between the water and the beach. So it does work out. It really does but I end up changing this area up quite a bit before I figure out where exactly I want my bridge to be. My villagers were really chatty in this one as well. If you saw my plaza speed build, they were literally talking like the whole time. I had several villagers when I wasn't filming like ask to leave and ask to give me things like a concierge uniform. Thank you, Daisy, for that. But yeah, I think it's super precious when the villagers have a lot to say. I also want there to be like land stretching into the water and maybe a mini island in the lake because I want to be able to have trees like on the water so that it doesn't just feel like empty space and then my house. So I'm trying to shape the water in a way that allows for flexibility with little islands and stuff in it because I am working with a fairly small space to be incorporating so much. Here I'm mapping out where I want to plant trees beside my house so that I know how far I can stretch the water on this side. So having these custom designs here will just be a guide for me.
this is pretty much the middle of the lake that I am uh, carving out currently. I just want to make a side note here. CJ would not leave me alone. He was patrolling this area the whole time. And I swear I accidentally spoke to him like six different times that I just cut out because it was so frustrating. I know I want to use circle paths here with the light dirt uh, pathing that's in the game. So I changed the front of my house outline to the dark dirt path so that I can place down that first little strip of light dirt. I'll do the other one once the house is placed because it'll just delete it if I do it now. Uh, but yeah, I'm like kind of struggling to figure out how I want to path this area because I'm not exactly sure what's going to be on the far right yet. and. It was kind of difficult to plan that out without having the bridge and the house built already. So I kind of put a pin in it until I can time travel to the next day. I decide here to get rid of this tiny bit of lake to the side like I decided to just make the overall lake a little bit narrower and get rid of this tail end of it just so it looks cuter um this used to be a pond and I don't know I wasn't vibing I also want to make this mini island a little bit bigger so that I can put a tree on it but I had to move it a little bit to the side to do the like nine square block because I didn't want the tree to be directly in front of my house. Um, so that was my thought process here. I just had to move it so that the tree wouldn't cover my house. It would just be like framing it sort of. This video is just another example of me really struggling with my pockets. They were full throughout the video, like I just never had pocket space because I kept overestimating how much I could fit and how much I would be immediately placing. So that was a trying, a trying thing for this video. I put my favorite little lattice design on either side of the house. The way you make these is by customizing simple panels with whatever custom design that you like. So I just wanted to make the house feel more enclosed, I guess. I didn't like the barren cliffs on either side. And I really love using these like roofed wells. I think they're so gorgeous.
Overall, I want my house to have a very nestled in the forest vibe because I just feel like that fits with what mom would want, what a mother would vibe with. So I think it'll also be very cohesive with the interior that I'm planning. I plan to have each of the rooms represent something that would be in your parents' house, I guess. Um, so yeah, I just wanted to kind of tuck it away back here, give it a little lake view. I thought it would just really fit that cozy theme that I've been going for. Filling the space behind the trees was probably the most difficult part of this build for me. For some reason I was really struggling to fill empty space this time. Not sure why because I do lean on my usual trustworthy go-tos of plants, log stakes, etc. But yeah, I was really trying to figure out how to fill up all of the empty grass around the house where like it wouldn't make sense for trees to be or where they just wouldn't fit. I'm back on my absolutely no empty grass BS. I cannot leave anything empty. That is my fatal flaw as a creator. I just can't do it. I can't not have something on every space of grass. It's a problem. I think this is another classic Lex move at this point. Alternating fencing and shrubs is what I'm gonna do in front here to kind of block off the lake where you can't walk right up to it and fish. Um, I know that's so rude to my villagers. I'm really sorry to Robert and Blair especially who are very fond of fishing in the video. But yeah, I think it'll look very cute here and it'll make it seem like there's less space between the lake and the trees that I'm gonna plant in front of the fencing. So yeah. I suddenly feel inspired to make the area to the right of my house maybe a little waterfall cove, like have it framed by trees and maybe seating, but in retrospect I'm thinking I might just board up the water that I'm like working on right now and add some cliffs here so that there are cliffs between my house, the, like lake path and the beach to the right of my island. Not sure how that's going to go yet. I have not brainstormed beach decorating. It's my other fatal flaw. Please, if you have any tips for beach decorating, don't be afraid to DM me ever.
I do go ahead and place this path down just so that I can get an idea of where to place trees around it because like I said my pockets are full for pretty much this whole build and I'm trying to get rid of all of the things that I can't just drop. So yeah, I wanted to get a better idea of what the whole area would look like together. And I'm gonna skip over some of this part. I'm just gonna place my usual path custom designs, the path borders. Um, so yeah, you don't need to see the whole process. If you're still watching, like, wow, hi, I love you, please comment below what are your go-to pieces of furniture when you're decorating your island and if it's applicable or if, like, it depends on your theme. Tell me that as well. I'm really curious to see how you all approach decorating empty areas. R.I.P. C.J. who is about to get viciously shoved. Oof. I finally decide that it is indeed time for me to move the house and the bridge, have them visible. So here I am finally able to complete the path to my house. I think this like house customization is so cute. I changed it right before I moved it because before my house was just some random colors that I chose when I was being impatient. But yeah, let me know what you think about it. I think this looks like a mom's house. Like I went for the grate in the door. I just feel like it exudes that family house you go to during the holiday season. I don't know. For the majority of this build, I've been using white flowers and yellow pansies, but at some point around here I run out of seeds and the build is just too far along for me to pause and go find some seeds or trade on Nookazon. So I just find other flowers on my island that are yellow or white and I just transplant them here. Also, this grass in front of the table was really puzzling me, so I just put down a rug because, you know, that's cozy and mom-ish.
look at me finally tackling this really difficult area to decorate. Go Lex! I decide while I'm over here to go ahead and make a path from the lake to the south beach for my island and I skip over me catastrophically working with different paths to figure out what'll work and what'll look best. It does kind of bother me that there's this one random dark dirt path circle, but you know, it was what worked. I felt like it would be really weird to walk through this area with the beach path not totally full because it is visible when I'm walking through. So even though the entire right half is going to stay empty when I do my walkthrough of this build, I just had to finish decorating the path to the beach. I don't know. That's the way that I am. Also, this is the only work that I do on this like first cliff here. It's just for the views. This tree is visible when I'm like taking snapshots of my house area. So yeah, it just adds height to the area, I think. And at last, we are coming to the end of the build. Ta-da, I am done. Here I am standing in the plaza area being excited about the fact that this really long build is finally finished. I've been thinking about this build for weeks now. So yeah, I hope you love it. I accidentally ran through this lily and destroyed it, so apologies. I call this area the Big Empty. So here we are, allow me to share my final map of the day with you. I've still got some work to do, but Lost Falls is really coming along. I think my dream address release is right around the corner. Thank you so much for watching and I hope this was inspiring for you. I'll see you in the next video and here is Peaches. I hope all of you have a great day and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!